Alum Halfer is the first of uh, the First New Zealand Brigade's collective training periods. So it gives the task group headquarters, in this case it's Queen Alexandra Mounted Rifles, an opportunity to practice our command and control elements. It's an opportunity for us to bring some of our students who are on course, who get a chance to see this for real because they study in the classroom, they do it on the map, they have it sort of conceptually in their minds, but mechanically it's good for them to have an opportunity to actually see what happens. We went through a conventional phase initially in Waiuru, practicing uh, combined arms warfare. So to enable that, that's where we really needed the artillery, uh, engineers, the infantry and the armour all working together to achieve that combined arms effect. We had uh, artillery uh, firing a preparatory barrage, as well as covering fires. The uh, enemy position itself was heavily obstacleized, and so we needed the engineers to breach those obstacles to enable the lads and infantry to actually break into the enemy position. In addition to that, the, uh, the health service support or the medics have you know, been instrumental in, in keeping casualties alive. Uh, the logisticians have managed to keep us supplied you know, with the fuel, water and uh, food that we need as well as the ammunition. The work that the mechanics do has been greatly appreciated, making sure our squadron of labs is always ready to be deployed at any time. Uh, in particular, the, the fact that we've been able to work with the Air Force so closely on this exercise, I think that's been beneficial to everyone in, involved. The uh, NH-90 was used to ferry the uh, stores out to the outlying patrols. That obviously had the benefit that our logistic component was freed up to do other tasks, and the task that usually takes about you know, seven to eight hours took less than two. Here in the Hawke's Bay, it's more contemporary base, which basically means what we're doing is looking for a, a, an enemy that blends in with the civilian population. We're trying to find people that are guilty of conducting insurgent activity. So for the boys, that is a big mind shift. We need to find evidence, we need to adhere to the rule of law in order to do that. One of our intents around Alam Halfa and then subsequently Kiwi Koru, which is later on in this year, and then we go into our more joint exercises with Southern Kalapo, is to bring in that international flavour. But in this particular case here, we've got elements of US Army and US Marine Corps, subject matter experts around the likes of command and control, running a, uh, a task group headquarters. And we're integrating those with ours and we're learning mutually beneficially as, as we go through.